Welcome, boys and girls, to the Lab Online Kids Preschool Experience. I am so glad that you are joining us here today. We are talking about somebody really, really famous for the next three weeks. I'll give you a hint. He was a king. He was one of the most famous kings who ever lived. His name was King Solomon. And he was so smart and so wise that people came from all over the world to ask him questions. That's pretty amazing, hey? But King Solomon, he knew something really important. That no matter how famous he was, the one who we want to be the most famous is God. And that reminds me of our memory verse. Let's go practice it together with Miss Kelsey. Let's say our memory verse together. Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10, 1. Let's say it one more time. Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10, 1. Great job. What an awesome memory verse. We know that King Solomon, he was very smart. And he was so smart that he knew he could trust God. Let's go check out Callie and hear more about our Bible story today. Yay! Hey, welcome back, my friends. We are learning so much, aren't we? I know for sure I am, but I have a question for you. Do you like games? I love games, so if you love games as much as I do, can you make some noise? That was fun. I can tell you love to play. Tell you what, I'll let you choose which one of these famous games we'll play together. Shout it out! Duck, duck, goose, freeze tag, the floor is lava, hide and seek, or a little game called Kelly Says. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say a bunch of things that you have to do, but only if I say Kelly Says. If I don't say Kelly Says, but you do the action anyway, you're out. Awesome! So let's go! If you're a mom, or a dad, or a babysitter, or a teacher, maybe you can help me out! Remember, it's just a game, so it's all fun! Ready? Yeah. Callie says, put your hands in the air, 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 air! Callie says, put them down! Callie says, put your hands in the air, 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 air! Kelly says, wave them around like you just don't care. Now stop. Uh-oh. I didn't say Kelly says. <laughs> Who got caught? This is so much fun. One more? Okay, this one is a little bit more difficult. I don't know if y'all are ready. I mean, I know you're awesome, but are you ready for this round? Let's go. Callie says, close your eyes. Callie says, open. Callie says, close. Callie says, open. Callie says, close. Now open. Yay! Was that tough? Nah, it was fun, right? You know what else is fun? A Bible story! It's time for our Bible story. Our Bible story for today starts kind of sad, but it doesn't end that way. King David died after being king for 40 years. That's a really long time. He lived a good life. Not perfect, but good. He made some mistakes, but he always loved God and tried his best to follow God's instruction. His son Solomon became the king after him, and this was a really good thing because Solomon loved God and he wanted to serve God just like his father had. One day Solomon went to a high place to worship God. While he was there, God spoke to Solomon in a dream. 
God said, ask me for whatever you want. Can you imagine? What would you ask for? A pet giraffe? A lifeline supply of marshmallows? A dog that can talk? Those are all cool, but God's not a genie who grants wishes. God is our creator, our savior, our friend. So instead of asking for a gumball machine that never runs out, Solomon spent time with God. He told God that he was nervous about being king because he was so young. He was just a kid like you. Okay, maybe a little older than you, but still, he was worried that he wouldn't know what to do or how to lead God's people. So out of all the things in the whole universe Solomon could have asked for, he asked God to give him wisdom. God grinned from ear to ear. The Bible doesn't really say that, but I bet it happened. Solomon didn't ask for stuff. He asked God to help him be a wise and kind leader. God was so pleased with this that he gave Solomon what he had asked for and more. Have you ever felt nervous about doing something you weren't sure you could do? Remember, just like Solomon, when we need help, we can ask for God's guidance. Another amazing story. These stories are so good, right? Solomon really loved God and listened to God. I really want to be like that all the time. It's kind of like our game though, wasn't it? I was telling you what to do and you listened. Well, some of you. <laughs> I'm so happy to know that when we need help, we can ask for God's guidance. And when we ask, God will help us with whatever we need. What things do you need help with? Maybe learning how to share, maybe asking for help when you need it. Maybe you miss someone a whole bunch and aren't sure what to do. We can always go to God and that is awesome. Before we go though, there is this awesome song from my super famous friends Chip and Stacy. It's the Shake 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 song. Maybe we can try it and see if you can follow along. Reach up and down. Come on, guys. Reach up and down. Ready to shake, Chip? Shake, 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 up. Come on, Chip. Down. Touch it down. Up. Reach, reach, reach. Down. Let's go. Shake, 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 up. And down. Come on, Chip. Amazing trip. I feel all better already. You I'm friends. nice and stretched. Are you with your friends? Friends, thanks for tuning in today and growing with me. It's been so much fun. Wow, what a cool story. King Solomon had just become king and he asked God for wisdom. Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do. What a cool thing to ask God for. Well, today I brought somebody really special to interview. Can you tell us your name? Josiah. Josiah, I'm so excited that you're here today. Now, Josiah, did you start something new today? Yes. What did you do? I went to kindergarten on my, of my first day of kindergarten. You had your very first day of kindergarten? Wow, how was it? Good. Oh, that's amazing. Now, Josiah, if you ask God to help you know the right thing to do, do you think that he would answer you? Yes. Oh, 
Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today, Josiah. Now, boys and girls, no matter what we are doing, whether we're starting a really big job like being a king or starting kindergarten, or whatever God has for you to do today, I know that he will give you wisdom. He will help you know the right thing to do. All we have to do is ask him. Josiah, do you think we can pray and ask God for that now? Yes. Okay, let's pray. Father God, I thank you so much that you love Josiah and King Solomon and every single boy and girl who's watching today. God, I pray that you would help us remember to ask you for help to know to do what the right thing is. We thank you, God, that you always give us wisdom when we ask. You are such a good God. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, boys and girls. Thank you once again, Josiah, for being here. Can you say goodbye to the boys and girls? Goodbye. We hope we see you again next time. subscribe to our channel so that we can make more fun dance videos. Bye!